this video I'll be covering the uh, Polygon Pen Tool and uh, Cinema 4D. It's a really nice tool and uh, like a universal tool for modeling. So the first things first, you want to switch from your standard mode and uh, layout, which, which is this, uh, to uh, modeling mode. It just makes it easier because we have our uh, all our tools on the bottom here and we also have our selection tools. Uh, so this is, this is the uh, Polygon Pen Tool. And you can do a lot with this tool. So in this video, I will show you all kinds of shortcuts and uh, you know a few different scenarios. Uh, you know what this tool can do and how it can be used and so on. Uh, so as you can see in front of me, I have this uh, bike frame uh, that I was kind of messing around and I made real quick uh, just to show you. So let me just undo the subdivisions. And uh, this tool works in all three modes. So you have the point mode. Uh, the edge mode and the face mode and uh, this tool the polygon pen tool works in all three so it doesn't matter which one uh, you st stay in uh, but in this case I'll probably stay in point mode and uh, show you a few examples of what you can do uh, so first things first is uh, you can select your edges your faces and your uh, points with this tool so as you can see you can uh, click a left click and move uh, your points around same thing for the edges you can just move move that around as well and also for the faces so these are all the selection tools you can do and uh, I'm, I'm staying in the you know the same mode point point mode so you don't have to switch and uh, you know you can just stay in any mode and just keep using the tool so that's uh, for the selection tool uh, another thing you can do is uh, let me just delete maybe a face from this mesh so another thing you can do is obviously create polygons and patch holes. Uh, so for example, you have a hole in your mesh and uh, you want to patch it up. You, or you would just go in your point mode or edge mode, either one, and you just click and it gives you this little preview. It just means, you know, continue clicking and patching. So I have my first point, my second point, my third point, my fourth point, and then sometimes it closes the uh, hole for you automatically, which is auto weld because it's on right now. Or, or sometimes you have to uh, click on the fourth point to close your mesh. Uh, but it really works really good. You can do like a lot of different things with it. So for example, uh, you know, let me just extrude these two edges here. So I'll just extrude like this. Something like this. And uh, for example, you want some kind of bump out on your mesh. Uh, so you go back to your polygon pen tool, go in your point mode or edge mode, doesn't matter. And just, you know, create your polygon this way. And there you go, you just patched it up. Same thing up top. Click, 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 click. And it patches up uh, the holes for you. Really nice, you know, really clean. Auto welds everything so you have uh, no errors in your mesh. Uh, okay, let me show you some other things you can do. So we covered the selection tool, we cover you know, creating new polygons, really simple. Uh, the next thing you can do is also, uh, let me just back up here and undo the subdivisions. Another thing you can do is uh, subtract from your mesh. So just like uh, how you can delete different edges or uh, different points uh, using the dissolve tool here, which is this. You can do that with polygon tool by just double clicking or a con a command clicking. So for example, I don't want this face here. You can just double click and it will delete the face for you. It's kind of like dissolve the face. So it's command, command click, command click. And it works for faces, it works for edges, and it works for points. So if I click on this point here, command click on the point, you can see that I deleted this point. And same thing if I command click on the edge, it deletes the, this edge. So it's like a dissolve tool inside a polygon pen tool. Really nice, you know, you don't have to switch tools. You can just stay in a polygon pen tool and just dissolve your edges or your points or your you know, faces and that's really nice. Um, so we covered the selection tool, the dissolving, uh, you know, uh, patching holes. Another thing you can do is uh, uh, create new polygons by holding command and dragging. Uh, so for example, let me delete this face here. And instead of uh, creating the polygon like I showed you before, uh, by clicking on each point, so you would click here, here and then so on. All you have to do is uh, hold option or a command and uh, drag your edge onto the other edge and 
you can create your polygons that way. So it automatically patches the hole for you that way instead of uh, clicking like I showed you the first uh, in the beginning. You can just command drag on the edge and patch uh, your hole in the mesh just like this. If you if you do on the face, you can uh, extrude. So if you command drag on the face, you can extrude your faces and uh, command drag on the point. You can also create your edges uh, this way or your points this way. So as you can see, I created this kind of shape if I command drag on points instead of uh, edges. So there's a lot you can do with this. You know, sometimes you have um, errors in your mesh and you want to patch it up and maybe create something uh, unique, you know, like an uh, indent or bump out or whatever it can be. You can use uh, these tools to uh, create new edges, create new faces and so on. So you just command drag. And as you can see, I created a new um, polygon just by command drag and stay in this tool instead of uh, instead of extruding. So another thing you can do, you can add the points or a cut into your mesh. So instead of going into uh, your knife tool or your line cut tool, you can just stay in your polygon tool and do the same thing, just like this. It's not creating new polygons, it's actually cutting your polygons in half. It doesn't go through all of the polygons, so you have to do one by one. So it's not as good as the knife tool, but it still, you know, does a pretty good job. So you can just uh, manually uh, cut your polygons. Another thing you can do if you hold shift, so let me just back up a little bit. If you hold shift, you can add points. So if, as you can see, uh, when I hold shift and I click on the edge, uh, the knife uh, uh, icon shows up. So if you just uh, left click while holding shift, you can add uh, points into your uh, uh, edges. So it's a really nice tool, uh, you know, you can just create a few points here and here, and then uh, you can connect them just like this. You know, there's a whole bunch of different scenarios um, that you can uh, come up with. You know, it just it just works depending on what you're doing. There's a bunch of things you can do. Uh, let's see what else you can do with this tool. Uh, so you can move the points, you can move the edges, you can move the faces, you can patch the holes. Um, you can uh, weld, you know, two edges together. You can weld faces together. Uh, you can uh, create new uh, points by just command dragging. Uh, you can create new um, faces or uh, polygons by command dragging on the edge. And if you command drag on face, you can extrude. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So uh, I ho hopefully this uh, video helped you uh, because you can just stay in this tool and do kind of a lot. You don't have to switch in between tools. You can just, you know, create your different polygons. For example, maybe go in your top mode. You know, start creating your polygons here. You know, clicking if you want to do quads. Sometimes it welds for you. And then you can just command drag, create another polygon. And then, you know, just left clicking on points, you can move things around and create your custom shape. Uh, then you can jump out, go back to your perspective mode, find your little polygon you created, which is right here. And then you can command drag on faces or um, edges. And if you want to extrude, you can extrude. If you want to create new polygons, you just command drag, as you can see. And the last feature is pretty cool too. I forgot to mention it. So if you go back to your top view, and uh, you can do rounding on your edges. So if you hold Command Shift and hover over the edge, it will do rounding. So as you can see, I let go. So if you Command Shift and then hover over, you can see uh, it does this rounding on the edge. It can be anywhere. It can be on this one, it can be on this one, and so on. So for example, you want to do a round edge at the end here. So you would just Command Shift, hover over, then it gives you that little preview. And then you can left click and drag to the left while holding it. You drag it to the left or the right. And it gives you the subdivision count, like how much subdivisions you want when you're rounding. So maybe something like this. And then you can let go and you have um, your rounding on the edge. And also, you know, you can connect different points, kind of like a knife tool. And, you know, just a bunch of things you can do. But these are pretty much basic. So you also have all kinds of options here. You can play around and uh, see what you can come up with. Uh, but anyway, guys, hopefully this uh, video gave you some kind of idea on uh, the Polygon Pen Tool. Really useful uh, for modeling. 
And uh, in my upcoming videos, I'll try to cover all the tools we have available in Cinema 4D. And I try to show you, you know, a few different examples you can use the tools for. And, uh, you know, when you're building your uh, mesh from scratch or you have your existing mesh and uh, you want to modify and so on. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe, uh, leave it a like, and uh, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Uh, have a good day.